Hey guys, it's Super Easy Films here, and today I got a new video for you guys showing you guys how to export and render out of After Effects CS6. So what I got here is some footage of an aerial view of a of a highway, and what I'm going to do is I want to export it. So what I do is go ahead and click on your comp, make sure it's selected, and go to Composition, and then go to Render Queue. And if you know the shortcut keys, go ahead and click that because it's faster than going up here, but if not, just go ahead and click it. So, already I was doing a test earlier, so let me just delete that. And right here, this is what it's going to look like. So, or whatever the name of your comp is. But as you can tell, comp 1, it's just comp 1A, 1 right there. So, after that, you can click your render settings. And then, it says the quality. It says you have your quality. You can edit that. And I put it at best. And as you can tell, if you, if you were to pick wireframe, it'd be the lowest quality. But if you were to pick a resolution now, you can have the custom settings of picking whichever one you want. And it also tells you your size of the comp that you have. So after that, you can also edit the frame rate and different stuff like that. You can also edit the time of how long the video you want it to be. So let me go ahead and click OK. And we can click on lossless here on the output module. And you can fix the settings for that. I usually go with QuickTime because like every computer can read that format so if you want you can do it like that and that's just the way I go and usually over in QuickTime options I would change that to H.264 because that's the that's the better way to go and right here you got the basic video settings put that at 100 especially if you want the highest quality but if you don't obviously bring it down so go ahead and click OK Everything else you usually don't have to mess with, but if it's not the same as you see on your screen for your render settings, try to match it up with what I have. Same goes for color management, but usually I don't mess with that. So after that, go ahead and click OK. And to that, click Output to. And this is where you can save it to a disk or a, a certain area that you want to save it to. So let me go ahead and click Arial Shot and click save and I'll replace that and after that you're basically done and all you can do is click render so it's rendering as you can tell right now and everything is moving so as you can tell in the view finder you can see as as the bar moves the, the video is moving so what that means is the actual video is playing in the time that the file is rendering so that's pretty cool and you can also check out the uh, elapsed time, how much time has passed, and the remaining time that they estimate. And you can also stop the render or pause it, and yeah, they give you a lot of options on After Effects. So that's basically it on how to render and export. Render and export are the same, but yeah. But that's how you render and export out of After Effects CS6, and subscribe, like this video, and share it with your friends who don't know how to export out of After Effects.